embrace whatever happens. Hey everybody, Lux Into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. Believe it or not, we are going to return to the land of foil. <laughs> and I say believe it or not because every time I take us there, it doesn't always go well. But I received some new foils from Jen at Artistic Painting Studio and I would like to try them out. So we're gonna do one here and I have another video planned with a different one. I'm a little late to these new foils because she already has newer new foils out. So, you know, go, go peruse her store. If you're curious, they're just cool looking. But here's what we're gonna do today. I have a white 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler. I, this is a tumbler from Makerflow. I sanded it, washed it, spray painted it flat white with Rust-Oleum paint. And now I am going to paint on or apply a little bit of the Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive. And you, you really don't need much. I'm just going to take a little bit out of here and put it on some parchment paper like that. I can always take out more and I'm going to water it down just a tiny bit with some some water so that it brushes on nice and smooth. And I'm gonna put it on my cup. So it's hard to see, cause this goes on white and I have a white tumbler here, but it does dry clear. Uh, in this case, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. If it dried white, that would still be okay, but it doesn't, it dries clear, so you can use it on any background. Nice even strokes. So I am going to put this aside to dry on a paper towel holder thing from Dollar Tree. And I'll come back in about 45 minutes to an hour and we'll proceed to the foil application. So here is the foil I am going to be working with. This is a colored snakeskin pattern. And it's different from the foils I've worked with in the past in that it's very, very see-through. So unless you're aware which side is the side that goes against the cup or whatever you're putting it on, this gets a little more confusing. Other foils tend to be opaque so that you can tell the front from the back. In this case, they both kind of look the same, both sides. So I happen to know that this is the side I want, and I would say the texture, you can feel it's got a little more tooth to it, and this is really slippery shiny, because this is the just this is just plastic. This is like the backing paper for the design. So we want the slightly toothy side to go against the cup. And what I'm gonna do <laughs> is a lot of praying. I'm gonna take our tumbler, I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna roll it up, and we're gonna see how this goes. I'm just gonna embrace whatever happens. <laughs> embrace it, Cindy, embrace it. There we go. Okay, we have wrinkles. It's just, it's just how it's going to be. I'm not going to worry about it. That's the whole embracing it part. <laughs> want to encourage the foil to let go and stick to the tacky surface. Oh, I did want to tell you guys, for those of you who watch my channel and Anthony Crammons, I have talked to him about these foils, these transfer foils. I sent him a few pictures. He seemed really interested in giving it a try. He's got a long list of things he's working on. And he shoots about two months in advance of, of when we actually see the videos. So I just thought I'd mention it here as something for all of us to look forward to. All right, let's see how we're doing here. I have to tell you, that is pretty dang cool. It has imperfections, but you know, I don't really mind it that much. Let's see if we can fill in a few of the gaps here. I also want to do the bottom. I may have to cut another piece for that, but let's see if we can get something here. Smaller pieces in general are easier to work with. You can do this with small pieces. I wanted to see how a, one, one big honking piece would look and it's cool. It's, I like this. I like the blue of it. I like the snakeskin appeal of it. Very cool. We still have some pieces we can use so I'm going to get out the Aline's and we will do a little more small area touch-up spots.
Be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, we're back. Let's see how our repair work goes. <laughs> so the Allens is dried. We'll start here. I love it. I absolutely love it. I say that more and more with these foils, and I know I certainly didn't start out feeling that way about them. <laughs> they are convincing me of their loveliness. Very happy with this. Okay, so I am going to get this on a turner. I'm going to seal it with Counterculture DIY's Quick Coat, their urethane sealer, because that is the best sealer I've found for these foils. Uh, spray sealer, for some reason, sometimes it makes them look a little duller then it doesn't come back under resin this leaves them the way they look now but seals them in so that the resin doesn't repel from the surface and cause fish eyes or craters i'm going to do that and then i'm going to get a layer of epoxy resin on it and then we'll come back and figure out what we're going to do with this cup next okay this has a layer of resin on it now and i think it's even prettier than it was before i am going to put a decal over this sort of jagged line of wrinkles and mistakes <laughs> It won't cover up the whole thing, but the question is which one? I thought this one is pretty because it's orchids. And I also love this one and the colors go. I have used this one in, in a video before. If I remember, I'll try to link it below. I know which one I'm going to choose. So if you disagree and you wanted me to choose a different one that you think would be better, again, please be nice, but feel free to comment down below which one you would have liked to have seen on this tumbler. But I'm going to go with the sunflower. This is the Nito printable vinyl. We go beautiful now i have a beautiful sunshiny day today so i think i am going to put a bead of uv resin around the edge and smooth it all out with a gloved finger and stick it out in the sunshine to cure put a layer of resin over it i will probably put into that layer of resin 504 glitter from mr Knowles glitter just to make the whole thing sparkle next time you see this should be out in the sunshine so here we go mm -hmm. 